Good evening, everyone. Welcome to RadioSilentPlay.com. I am your moderator for today on June 1st, 2015. Let me start off by saying I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own due diligence before trading any stock or options. Trading stocks and options inquire lots of risk. So we're going to go over what the markets did on June 1st, uh, 2015. Um, first off, we're going to start off with ticker symbol AURI. Okay, this is a stock that was sent out back when it was um, at a buy zone from 10 to 13. We we're looking at this stock from 0 0.001 to 0 0.0013 as a probability trade. Um, we had a nice significant move, which uh, we noticed this big move up to this 0 0.0104. So over the weekend, we kind of said that this stock had a potential to maybe put in uh, what I call a, a bullish flag inside pattern. So. Um, we had a significant move here, okay, and um, I talked about this 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 big flagpole here setting up, and I mentioned to traders to watch that inside flag pattern kind of set up. Um, we knew that it was going to be some kind of volatility because remember, um, stocks don't just move up in a linear motion. So what we want to see is some kind of consolidation in between. This stock was very very volatile. And I talked about the entry at 32 to about 0 0.0044. We actually kissed that 32 level. We hit a low of 0 0.003, which was this support here, which we talked about. And that played out beautifully because then we, we hit a high um, above here, like about, it was like about 0 0.0067 we actually hit. So um, just a beautiful move. Now what we want to see is some consolidation and a potential close above 0 0.006 on two consecutive closes. Okay, Traders should always look to profit on the way up, but we're still seeing a little bit of a, of a reversal here. This was a dramatic move, almost a euphoric move, but what we want to do is we want to respect the move, and at the same time, we want to look to see what kind of a pattern we set in. Okay, Just a beautiful entry given. It gave an opportunity to enter from 0 0.003 to 0 0.004, now what I would do is I would place my stop close below 0 0.003 on two consecutive closes. If you do break that level, okay, the next support is going to be at 0 0.002. That's the support that you want to kind of hold. Okay, so I want traders to keep an eye on the AURI. Still looking good. They have news, okay, shares locked up and a new business development over in China. So this is significant. Okay, moving on to the next stock, ARIC. A R Y C ticker symbol A R Y C very similar move as well. We talked about this bullish inside flag pattern, okay? That we wanted to see form, and we talked about this this box pattern here. We wanted to see if this thing was gonna kiss that upper part of this box pattern, and it did. It actually hit a low of 0 0.0051, and then we ended up rallying a little bit, closing at 0 0.0065. What you want this stock to do is to hold above the 8-day moving average at 0 0.0045. So any uh, traders that are buying here at that range, that's your stop close. Look for your stop close to be a close or a kiss or a close. Two consecutive day closes below 0 0.0045. That's where I would look to, to purchase and look to add shares here on a bullish inside flag pattern. Um, your pivot break is going to be a close above 0 0.007 on two consecutive closes. Then you retest that 0 0.013. Okay, so we're keeping an eye on the ARYC. Okay, the next stock is BRAV, ticker symbol BRAV. This is a stock that was sent out. It actually triggered. The stock's never really closed below this level here at 0 0.0012. So this is very, very significant and very, very good for this stock. Currently, it's trading right at that 50 day moving average, and we closed above that. 20 day moving average here at 0 0.0015. So, what we're seeing is a potential curl of the 20 day moving average into the 50 day moving average for a potential golden cross. Not only that, but this is a clear bullish flag pattern. And this is one of the strongest signals that you get when you have a breakout. So, this is a bullish flag here. Okay, so what we're seeing is we're going to see some consolidation here and a potential break above this level. Once we break above this level, we have huge room, okay, to go and test this level here at 24 and a potential test of this uh, high here at 0 0.003. If you do break that 0 0.003, 
this is what I call the breakout level. Okay, um, this has very light shear structure. Okay, very light shear structure, and there is a lot of potential for this stock to kind of break out here. So this is a, a what I call a bullish flag pattern, one of the stronger signals in the market. And we're looking for this stock to close above this 18 level on two consecutive closes. If you do, you got a path to least resistance up to 0 0.003. So you got a lot of room. Now, if you look at the, the Brav, looking at, at it on the weekly um, the weekly chart, okay, this is another uh, time frame that I like to use. We're about to break this downward trend. If you break above 19, you're looking at this move up here to 0 0.005. If you look at the authorized shares, you only have 741 million shares. Outstanding shares 705 and just a float of 179 million, which is barely nothing. Okay, so you are in this box pattern. Any any area here is a great time to add. And if you're seeing here, you got higher lows. Okay, so this is just a nice wedge pattern here that's kind of forming here on the bra. It is expecting um, news updates on a muscle flex I believe it's called muscle flex clothing line it's one of the if you notice um, the, the workout apparel is in a billion dollar industry so this is something significant for the BRAV okay accompanied by a low share structure and actually uh, a nice um, setup here okay this stock should break out if you notice we've spoken about um, when the Bollinger Bands here the green lines here start trading in between these pink lines which are the Kellner channels this is what you call a pulse signal okay or a pulse fire okay this is about to fire on the upside if it does close above 19 on two consecutive closes I do feel the stock has the potential to hit that 0 0.005 so keep an eye on the BRAV okay the next stock is IFXY it is holding that level closed above that box pattern so we're seeing this um, potential test of this 0 0.002. If you do break above that 0 0.002, I think we're going to test this 26 level. The RSI is still oversold, and you still have a little bit of a uh, path to least resistance. Right now, I would kind of adjust this to that 0 0.003 to about that 0 0.005 for a potential move there. Okay, That's a, a little bit more significant move, potential move. Um, to that 0 0.003 to 0 0.005 and that gives opportunity to add what we're seeing here is a little bit of a rounded bottom and on top of that the accumulation distribution continues to move higher another stock we talked about um, was the LBSR LBSR just posted a beautiful move today okay it hit a high of 0 0.0025 closed at near the high of the day and what's more significant is that we actually broke this wedge Okay, so tomorrow what we're looking for is that second consecutive day close above that wedge. If it does, okay, you probably see a nice move higher. Now, what I, another thing I wanted to show you guys is what you call a W pattern. Okay, this W pattern um, usually sets up and then you see a, a much bigger breakout. So this is um, what I'm, I'm noticing here on the LBSR. And you're seeing a nice W pattern here setting up. And... Um, it should be a significant move higher so the LBSR is looking um, very very nice on chart we just broke this wedge pattern here at a close above 22 which we were expecting we hit a high of 25 with higher lows and now you're noticing this W pattern here form okay um, this has potential to hit that 0 0.004 to 0 0.006 so there's plenty of room here for a bigger move okay the next stock is LLBO Okay, we talked about this wedge pattern here. We also talked about another pulse. Okay, we see the, the Bollinger Bands here trading in between the Kellner channel, channels, setting up what I call a pulse fire. Okay, it fired on the upside. Okay, if you notice here, okay, you have this MACD curling up. And on top of that, you just broke this wedge pattern on two consecutive closes. I think this is going to test this 0 0.0035 to about 0 0.006 level. Um, in the next coming days any pullback back down to that 0 0.002 will be a nice opportunity for a re-entry so just keep that in uh, in check okay the next stock is SLNN this was a stock that we thought that it was gonna bounce it had a nice little bounce 
when we mentioned it, but then since then, we gave it new parameters. It actually triggered from 0009 to 11. We saw a nice low of 11, and then we closed at 18 above this box pattern. So now we're seeing a little bit of a reversal here. So watch any higher lows here on the SLNN. I do think that we will break this this uh, eight day moving average at 23 and potentially test this 46 level in the next coming days. The stock is still oversold, so you still have an opportunity to add some shares there. The next stock is CCTL. Okay, this actually pulled back as low as 12. I know some traders had stopped out, but what we're noticing is a nice rounded bottom here. Now watch this close above 0 0.002 on two consecutive closes. If it does get there, okay, the stock has the potential to move as high as 0 0.004 to 0 0.008. Okay, do not sleep on this stock. This stock does have potential to move a lot higher. Okay, now I'm going to go over some of the setups for um, options. I know um, we've seen a couple of um, options rally. First off, I want to go over NVDA. For most, the stock did stop out. Okay, we did stop out of the stock. We thought we were going to look at a fake out breakout, which it may see a fake out breakout. You know, the markets are a little weaker, but at the same time, this has shown strength. And we did close above that 22 level on two consecutive closes. So this did stop out. We will continue to monitor the MVDA, but again, you want to make sure that you uh, manage your losses. Okay, we thought that this stock would have tested this resistance here and broken down, but it did not. Okay, moving on to SPY, the S&P 500. If you look at it, okay, posted a nice reversal tail, okay, but it did close above that 21-day that, uh, moving average at 211.57, above that 211.37. So... If the markets are still holding up, you know, a nice uptrend still continues. So we will continue to monitor that. Um, the Delta did bounce off that level, which we talked about. We talked about this level here. Okay, it actually opened up at $43, and then it closed and hit a high of $44.79. Just a beautiful move. Looks like it's going to move higher. Watch that potential move up to this 46 level for those that took that, that Delta trade. Um, next stock is a Walmart. Okay, we started seeing a nice little rally in Walmart. Um, today we tested that 45 level. Uh, I'm sorry, that 75 level, but um, closed at 74.73. What we want to see is this stock close above 75 on two consecutive closes. If it does, I think we may squeeze higher and see that 79 level. Okay, so we did grab a, a nice position on Walmart into a long position. Okay, the next stock is um, Lumber Liquidators, ticker symbol LL. Okay, this is a stock that has been being down. A lot of traders or a lot of um, pundits are saying that this is uh, a stock that is pretty much going to collapse. I don't think so. I think this stock is a good, great opportunity here. Um, it actually triggered for us at that $20 level. Um, now we're, we're looking for this stock to kind of give us a reversal. Um, I think this stock can potentially test $23 to $25. If it does, the contracts that we go will be um, at significant value. Okay, now moving on to the CDTI, which is one of our small caps. Okay, we mentioned this stock at $1.90. We actually closed at the high of the day, 205. So we're looking for this uh, to continue up and move higher. We are trading above that 21-day moving average now. Um, we closed above it on two consecutive closes, so that's very bullish. If you notice here, you got what you call a mini bull flag setting up. Okay, you got that. Um, this setup here so um, I think that we have a significant move here it is a mini bull flag I think that we're gonna see and test that two dollars and twenty cents and potentially two dollars and forty cents in the coming weeks okay so CDTI is just a great trade uh, the next one is uh, ticker symbol DXM okay this was a pincher play we talked about that 70 to 80 entry it actually gave us a low of 83 regardless we talked about um, that move we talked about that it was a great oversold uh, chart. Uh, traders that um, paid attention in the morning were able to add some shares, and the stock hit a high of $1.30, closing at $1.13. Now watch for any consolidation down to this 95 level. Okay, that is the eight-day moving average. So you may see a little bit of a, of a consolidation here. Okay, so you want to see a little bit of consolidation here. I think um, that 95 level will be a good opportunity for re-entry okay so this is pretty much all your setups 
I will go over um, a couple of other stocks that we have on the watch list. There's a couple of good ones that actually triggered today. So again, if you want to know those levels, if you want to know those stocks, just join us at RadioSilentPlay.com. If you want to try a free trial, just um, it'll be on your right right hand corner. Just uh, click on that link, free trial, and try us out for 30 days. If you have any questions, just send us messages at RadioSilentPlay at gmail.com. If you have any stickers that you want to go over or you have any comments, questions, just um, hit us up on the comment box down below. Take care, everyone. Have a good night.